Hey, what's up? This is Chase Bryant, and this is my Rock Revival showroom session. We had just come off a single called Little Bit of You, which is my first top five hit. Coming out of the third single, I felt like a little pressure as to what I was gonna do, and we had had a ballad picked out, and it was like coming into the summertime, there were so many ballads on country radio out, and I begged the label to let me go in and write and kind of finish writing for the record, and Room to Breathe happened, and it only happened like 10 to 12 weeks ago. I remember sitting down playing that guitar lick on a banjo. Somebody said, you know, Room to Breathe. They were talking about the title, and I was like, well, does that mean that you don't need Room to Breathe or you want Room to Breathe? Because I kind of want to write a song with like a little more sex appeal. So what if we put it more towards, I don't need no room to breathe. And then it all kind of fell out. I think we wrote it in like an hour and 15, hour and 20. You kind of never know what you're going to get when you're playing something that's so brand new. But room to breathe kind of has that vibe that it's like a bug in your ear. You know what I mean? And it makes you feel something that you're not going to feel otherwise because it's not like anything that's on radio right now. There's nothing with that groove or that vibe to it. So we've been having a lot of fun with it. A lot of my favorite songs were like Dreams, Fleetwood Mac, or whatever it may be. I was such a fan of slow, meaningful songs. I think especially in country music, it's like, it's kind of known that you get your heart broken, you, you start to sit down and play something on a piano or play something way too slow, and that's kind of how it happens. James Dean or James Bond were my two like biggest you know influences when it came to like clothing. Kind of addicted to silver, so anything silver, black or white, it's always in my always in my suitcase. I can't live without having a ring on my hand, I, especially as a guitar player. It's something that I've just gotten used to over the years. The weight of when I play guitar with this hand. I like that that raw vibe of the '70s rock and roll you know, kind of beat up look. In country from like the 50s to the 90s, that kind of spoofed up kind of thing. I really, I really like that, so I try to find a good segue between the two of them.